Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial of designing a raft foundation using Orion software. So we have seen in the previous tutorial uh, how to design a simple structure. So in this video we'll see how to design a raft foundation. So I'm not gonna be, uh, repeat the previous tutorial we saw how to design and therefore I finished I did the modeling and the analysis of this uh, structure. I have a two story house or villa. So, as you can see here, I just need a raft foundation. So, the first step is to go to the zero zero level, which is the foundation level. go back to the plan view this is the foundation level so it's just like uh, how we insert a roof slab for the raft foundation we will insert a slab from the slab icon if you don't have it here you can go to member and you choose slab so I just want to notice that uh, designing a raft foundation you need to go to the code and you need to see the dimensions and the parameters so in, in this example I will just uh, design a random foundation I will not uh, do the exact design I will just use uh, random parameters so let's assume that the depth of the raft foundation we have is 50 centimeter or in here 500 millimeter because I have the depth in millimeter uh, the second thing is the concrete cover for the foundation you need around 40 centimeter and uh, one important thing here is the intersection you need to change it from beam region to axis region because that's how the software will uh, take the raft foundation because we don't have beam beams anyway so you will change this to axis region and uh, for the loads the program will uh, automatically will uh, transfer the column load to the foundation and uh, it will also calculate the surcharge weight of the soil because you already uh, you already did the levels so the program will calculate how much uh, how much the surcharge weight on the foundation so for this dead load and embossed load you don't need to you can put it zero or for safe side you can put it one to be in the safe side so now I will start inserting the slabs or the raft foundation as you can see in the axis intersections you can see that I have edge columns and uh, I need to take care of this uh, maybe for adding uh, foundation beams but we'll just uh, do an, an example as I said before it is not a, a real design raft foundation yes So this is my raft foundation as you can see now the second step is to go to finite element raft foundation analysis uh, also you can go to this from run 
Finite Element Trust Foundation Analysis. You will see this window. Uh, this is the soil subgrade coefficient. Uh, if you don't know the, if you know your soil, you can choose, of course, from this uh, list. If you have loose sand, this is the lower limit, the upper limit. If you have dense sand and uh, etc. If you have a soil investigation report and this uh, value is given. You will put it, or you can assume any value, or you can use the default software value. So I'll use this anyway. Uh, you you need to do uh, this include column section and finite element model, and consider the beam torsional stiffness. All of this. Uh, now let's go to the raft foundation mesh because I have uh, I did this before so. Uh, it will ask me if I want to replace it, yes. So I have this. Um, this is the finite element modeling generates model. For the uniformity factor, you can choose. Uh, you can choose it. I assume it 100. Close this, it will run the analysis. Now we go to the analysis post processing. Okay, we have this, uh, the result of the analysis. Uh, the first thing is we go to draw, draw slab strip. Uh, it will be a top view. And then we go to threshold contours. Now you will have this values. This is the displacement. And uh, it shows you the levels. The red uh, color it means uh, minus 0 0.005 five milli, but this is in meter. And the green, <coughs> the green region is where you have minus 0 0.002. Uh, what I need is I need to go to required steel area. So now what I need in design I need the depth and the dimensions and the uh, steel so I assume the depth is uh, five, uh, 500 millimeter or 50 centimeter so uh, I need now the steel area you have uh, the bottom steel you have in two directions the one is the x, uh, x direction and the uh, two is the y direction, and also we have uh, area of steel in the top, and uh, also in two directions. So if we click on this, uh, the bottom steel. This will turn to red, means you, because you, we didn't apply or we didn't provide steel reinforcement until now we go to edit contours you will see that this red value 2500 is uh, the required area of steel so what we will provide is from set nominal steel we go to bar diameter we choose let's choose 16 and the uh, spacing you can see that when you change the bar, the bar diameters, you will see the area. This is the provided area. Let's, let's choose 200 millimeter. The spacing. You can see the area increased. Okay. Okay. 
Now you have noticed that the the required area of steel is 2500 something and we only provided 1000 but you see that this 1000 covered all this area because when it turns to green it means that the area provided is more than the area required so why is why this value is more because the software will, will take the maximum value on this raft foundation the maximum required area of steel what we provide is sufficient for all this area except for some regions you can see that still it is red like this one near this column so what you need here is you can add extra steel when you <clears throat> when you produce your design sheets you can add extra steel here and here also now I want to know what is the area of steel required in this red area so from slab strip you can draw a strip you can see this uh, this is the diagram of the you know, this is the length of this strip and uh, this is the moment if you hit this required steel area you will see that you need 1600 something so you can calculate this uh, how many bars you need to cover this area and you can add it uh, later as extra steel so you will do this for the area of steel and uh, the, the other direction and also for the top steel if you found that you uh, you have a lot of red areas what you can do is you can decrease the spacing or you can increase the bar diameter or you can increase the depth of the raft foundation so that's the end of this tutorial and thanks for watching all the best